Ram is actually the name of that package. You know, that's a play that we, uh, Mike Bobo at Colorado State, uh, you know, obviously my dad and his dad are good friends, and uh, they had ran that play at Georgia, and you can see them, they run that play at Colorado State. So, um, you know, good complimentary short yardage package that we had from the past, so uh, worked out well for us. Right. Well, I think we're just trying to use our players the best we can. You know, that's the key to the drill. I think we've got um, a lot of guys that got unique uh, talent, you know, and we're a little bit short at tight end right now. So using extra offensive linemen in those situations is key. So we're fortunate to have some other OLs that are capable of doing a lot of different things. So, you know, the key to the drill is adapting to your personnel, really figuring out what your identity can be, you know, and uh, certainly in short yardage, sometimes you need to put big people out there, and we've been able to do that. Yeah, I think he took it really to another level Saturday. I think by far that was his best performance of the year. And, you know, DeMario has grown into a really good leader for us. You know, he's got a certain level of maturity and that goes with the experiences that he's had he's had he's been through the ups and downs here and I think he really values uh, the team winning I think he knows the value of that uh, just for his experience and his future you know so he played at a really high level I thought Kalen really ran the ball hard as well so those guys really set the tone in my opinion uh, just in terms of how we played Saturday against Utah Well, you've got, I think, each individual player is a little bit different, in my opinion. Uh, some guys come in a little bit more ready to play than others. Then you see maybe a talented young man that uh, really starts to pick it up, you know, and that may be midseason. Curtis Hodges would be a great example of that. So I think the big thing is they're all individual cases, and it's relative to what depth you have at certain positions on your team. So I think it's something you've got to keep, keep a constant pulse on. You, know, you got to evaluate your roster. You got to think about uh, what you need to do that week and who can help you. And to me, it's about how they practice. You know, that's where they prove themselves. You know, that practice facility and that bubble's a little bit of a proving grounds to some degree for a young player. Um, so, but we, our plan for development is year round. You know, and that's the key to the drill is that you have a plan for every phase of the off season. Uh, we certainly have made tons of progress. So far, in in the middle of the season, we're we're developing players as we speak. Yeah, yeah, we we uh, there's no question. We're all products of the experiences we've had, and the people that we've worked with, uh, and there's certain things that we were doing here that were really really good, you know, and uh, we've been able to keep those in place, but. You know, I've, worked, I've been fortunate to work with some really talented people, some great teachers, uh, and I think you take a little bit from each guy. Uh, for my dad, you're saying? Um, I think probably what I learned uh, from dad would be just your how to go about your business, you know, how to be just observing him and remembering things that he would say to you. Just when you're young, when you're um, growing up, when you make mistakes, you know, I think probably more about, uh, you know, character, integrity, how to live life, what type of man uh, that he would want me to be. Uh, the football part, you know, that's, that's its own element. You know, he's an old wishbone, I, you know, um, you know, old Nebraska offense type deal. I still remember the days of him with the VHS TV recorded Nebraska, you know, Scott Frost and all of that. You know, that was his system. And we certainly uh, would talk about that all the time. So 
but more than that, it was just about how to go about, you know, doing what you do as a coach. Well, I think we're, you know, most teams are always a work in progress, you know, but we, we're playing the situations the way that I think we need to play them, you know, and sometimes that's changing personnel. You know, one of the best things you can do, I think, is take each guy that you got, how can they help your football team win, and sometimes you've got to uh, change groupings to do that. Now, we like, we, you know, we play the majority of the game uh, in three wides, a tight end, and a running back. You know, we're going when we mix and vary the tempo. I think that's probably what I think gives defense the most trouble is varied tempo, uh, and then groupings that kind of come out of nowhere that they're unprepared for. You know, so we're gonna we're gonna try to continue to play with some tempo and vary the tempo, but at the same time we're gonna play the situation smart. We're gonna use the personnel that we have, and we're gonna try to. Uh, adapt to maybe some of the deficiencies that we have to overcome that. Right. Well, you get a, I'm always got a pulse for how the, how it's going out there with the defense, you know. I mean, you call the game different at Texas Tech than maybe you do when you're, you know, playing Washington and or Utah, you know, you call the game different when you're playing Oregon and it's going a certain way. You know, I think uh, you get a feel for maybe, hey, we've got a pretty good handle on what they're doing and, and we're playing well, or maybe they're, they've got some explosive skill players. It's a scenario where we're going to have to score. Um, and I think you got a little bit of a handle, of that go handle on that going in, but certainly you get within the game, you got to change your approach, you know. And I think when you get a lead, it's a little bit different. You know, I think you take a little bit of a different approach. And the quarterback plays different. I mean, we're all different when you get two score leads, three score leads. Um, you know, you just take a different approach. And the key to the drill is at the end of the game, you're up by one point or more, you know. And, you know, whatever we got to do to get that done, that's what we're going to do. You know, we certainly a um, lot more fun winning, I can tell you that much. So whatever it takes to get that done, that's what we're going to do. Uh, you know, I think they're, they've got a little bit different structure, I would say. You know, I think they're, uh, you know, their, their approach is a little bit different. Uh, but certainly they're talented. Uh, they've got really good cover guys. They're talented up front. They've got guys that can rush the passer. Um, we all know what type of talent USC has, and we know – uh, the history that's there and the success that they've had. So uh, the big thing for us is going to be really controlling our approach, our preparation, our decision-making at quarterback, our fundamentals, um, and playing smart football, play the situations well, and then manage the game as it comes to us. But uh, they're different structure, different, a little bit different identity, but there's always carryover, you know, and I think that's the biggest thing is if we've got everything put together the right way, uh, we won't have to start from scratch each week for sure. Well, I, to me, it's about the the um, the amount of time and work that they've invested, you know, and then to experience some success. Um, you know, they they want to win. You know, they, they work their butts off to put themselves in position to be in, be, um, I guess I would say, relevant. You know, that, that's probably what's most satisfying to them is that they're relevant. They're in the conversation, you know. And don't forget that we have a veteran group of players that have been there before, if that makes sense, and then went, went through the adversity uh, and have worked throughout the off season, really tried to do what we've asked them to do, and now they're getting a little bit of taste of success. So I think more than anything, that's the key to the drills, that we keep that edge, we realize what got us here, that's quality preparation, great practice habits, 
and then having the discipline to execute once we get to the stadium and go play. Well, I tell you guys all the time, I think the player makes the most growth after his first year of significant playing time. And I think Manny's experience last year early in the season, uh, then having an off season to kind of know what it was going to be like. So he prepared differently. Uh, and we certainly have taken approach. Um, and, you know, he's learned a new system. Um, he's learned a new way of identifying defenses. Uh, and I think he's, he's grown up as a person. You know, he's really grown as a leader, you know, in terms of his role in this football team. So more than anything, uh, he's, he's got a quality routine to get himself ready to go play. You know, and that's the key. You, you don't get ready to play. Everybody wants to play good when you get to the stadium on Saturday. It's about what you do throughout the week to get ready to do that. That's the key to the drill. And he's done well in those regards. Well, I, I don't know that anyone could ever say that. You know, the variables change on defense. Um, you know, your your evolution on offense is a little bit different as you go through the year. It's always going to be start the clock over. Okay, it's Sunday. What do we do on Sunday? All right, turn the page. What do we do on Monday? And buying into that regimen, that routine, uh, and knowing that that's ultimately what's going to lead to success on game day. That's the key to the drill. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah. Well, I think consistency is the key to the drill. You know, Phil's uh, been through the ups and downs. You know, I think he's seen a few ball games. He's seen a few uh, seasons in his time. And just stay in the course, uh, being consistent in your approach, and uh, making the tweaks that you need to make. You know, make the adjustments. Um, and he's done an outstanding job uh, leading that defensive group and certainly pushing the right buttons at the right time. So a lot of wisdom there and certainly a guy that, uh, you know, it's a pleasure and an honor to me to work, come to work and be with each day as we work together as a team. Phil and I would see each other uh, in recruiting in Louisiana, in North Louisiana, quite a bit. So uh, at certain schools, we'd spend time together catching up, but that was uh, the extent of our relationship. Uh, I think they can rush. Um, I think they can rush the passer. I think they can make you hold the ball, they can cover. Um, and certainly, um, I think they've got explosive capability. You know, I think they're athletic. I think they've got some guys inside that can disrupt. Um, and then I think structurally, they present variables to you. You know, they're, they, Clancy obviously has got tremendous experience and I think he knows how to put his players in position to have success, so, uh, but, We've got a good routine, you know, in terms of preparing our players, and that's where our focus is going to be. Uh, you know, and then we'll go to the park and try to play with great effort, great toughness, and great discipline to execute. Uh, and hopefully we can do what we need to do between now and then to prepare and play at a high level. Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. I actually said that to the players uh, yesterday. So, you know, we got to improve in the vertical passing game. You're, you're spot on. But uh, we've shown that we can do that, and uh, we, we need to make the plays when they're there. Um, and we will continue to call those, and, and hopefully we can execute them better. Yeah, I think the uh, main thing is they're pretty game-specific, you know. Um, and Utah had more variables than Washington to some degree. But there's carryover from 
you know, you can only do so many things. And we try to teach it in a way to where um, we can simplify it for the front people and the quarterback. But just identification, um, doing a great job processing it and having a good plan going in. But we'll be ready when it comes down. Um, no more than anybody else. I mean, that part's irrelevant, in my opinion. Um, the thing that we've done well is we're playing with a certain level of togetherness and unity. We're playing hard, uh, and we're, we're playing good situational ball. We're taking care of the football. Uh, that part, uh, you know, I've always said that. You know, in my opinion, X's and O's is way down the list. You know, it's really about being sound in what you do, having great discipline and togetherness within the unit, uh, and then featuring the talented players that you have. Well, Notre Dame is obviously not a Pac-12 team, you know, so really that didn't affect their situation in terms of what they're trying to accomplish within the conference. They've got a good football team. They're right in the middle of the fight, uh, and they certainly, uh, a little bit of adversity can be a good thing at times. We certainly know that. So um, it's going to be about uh, our preparation, you know, and that's going to be our focus in the next two or three days. Well, I, you know, I listen to our players quite a bit, meeting with those guys on Sunday. Um, Caden Balazs said, Coach, it really doesn't matter who we play this week. You know, they're all, they all count the same from here on out. You know, we, um, we used to say in Alabama, we're, it's just like the National Football League. We're in playoff mode here. In some of those years where we get beat early in the year, kind of got your back against the wall to go where we want to go. We're in the same scenario, you know. Uh, starting to cool down outside that falls right around the corner right we're and the stretch is here right we're, we're we're going down the stretch here and that's who's playing the best football this time of year that's what matters the most uh, I think that Winning affects recruiting, you know, and certainly, you know, my phone lights up a little bit more than it used to. That's what I would say, you know, and uh, I think kids watch closely. I think they watch the players, how they interact. I think they uh, can sense momentum. I think they can sense progress. Uh, and certainly um, the young men that have come here and know what we're about and know how we're going to take go our approach and what things are important to us. When they see that we're making progress, we're making improvement, um, the buy-in factor there is certainly a lot higher. So um, momentum's the key, and you gotta show them uh, that you've got a plan for their development, their success, and when they can see young men doing things that maybe they wanna do, uh, that's the key to the drill. Well, you got, I told our guys this morning, I said, take, just take pause a little bit, hit pause a little bit here, and let's look back uh, at the work that we've invested. You know, go back to the very beginning in February, the tour of duty. Uh, think about spring ball. Think about hitting that alarm, you know, at 5 o'clock in the morning, what that felt like. Think about what you've invested um, this summer, you know, the extra work that you did, the amount of time that you spent together, uh, and you did that for what? You know, you did that for this opportunity. You did that to create this opportunity. So with the wins that you've created this situation, you've created an incredible opportunity. And go relish that opportunity, man. Competition in its purest form, and uh, we certainly are excited about the challenge that's in front of us.
Well, I think they can they can look back and say, hey, this is what I've learned. You know, I've been there before. Uh, tell a young guy, hey, I've been through this before. This is what I learned, and this is what you can do uh, to help our team and help put us in position to be successful. You know, sometimes uh, good experience um, and bad experience are equally valuable. You know, you got to live and learn. And I think that we've got a group of guys that have observed and been a part of some situations where they knew it was wrong, you know. And I think we righted a lot of those problems. And uh, we're certainly reaping the benefits at this point. That's a hypothetical question. And I don't answer hypothetical questions. But... Um, I'll be here when the game's over. 